St. Stephen's Church. You get the gear, I'll go and see the vicar. Right. I still don't get it. Look, I'll go through it again slowly. We are the BBC. What's that, then? British Bat Conservation. I'm BBC One, you're BBC Two. It's our job to ring the bats around the country. Yeah, why do we have to go around the country? Why can't we send them a letter? When I say ring bats, I don't mean ring bats. I mean put rings on them, round the legs. Why don't we put them on the fingers? Don't be silly. Bats don't have fingers. You've got to ring them so we know how many there is. It's a very important job. Is it? It is. Bats are protected. They'll need to be. Let's go and see the vicar. Yes. Good morning, your vicarage. Paul and Barry chuckle. Do they? Your bats. Pardon? We've come to check your bats. <sighs> You're from the local cricket club. There you are. Well, I must say, I think it's a little late in the season. No, 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 you don't understand. We're from the British Bat Conservation, and we've come to check your church tower. <gasps> so you're a batman? That's right. And you must be Robin. <laughs> no, Barry. <laughs> Just a little joke. I'm not that little. My, this is exciting. <laughs> I'll get the key. <laughs> By the way, uh, you will be careful with the clock mechanism while you're up there, won't you? It was presented to the church by Elizabeth I. It's very old. Leave it to us. Your clock's in safe hands. Clock, hands, get it? <laughs> no, but you might if you damage it. <laughs> I'm full of little jokes today. Seriously, though, you must be careful. No one's been up there for years. The place will be covered in cobwebs, to say nothing of all the secret trap doors. Secret trap doors? Shh, he said, say nothing about that. It's a nice tower, Vicar. It's Norman. It's a nice tower, Norman. It's listed. Is it? You never know. Don't worry. If we've got time, we'll straighten it for you. We're good at that sort of thing. Go on, Barry. I'm all right. I've just had a trap door on my head, that's all. Now get it up. Okay. Oh, it's stuck. You're not trying hard enough. I am. I'll give it a big push. Oh! What do you think you're doing lying down on the job? We've got bats to find. Right. That's that then. No bats. Come on, let's go. Hang on. There's more to bat in than that. Is there? Yes, they're crafty little devils. They hide away. I don't blame them. No, I mean, they're not going to be hanging about anywhere, are they? They're hiding nooks and crannies. Grannies? No, crannies, not grannies. A cranny's a nook where they live. You've got to seek them out. Oh, I suppose it's easy for an expert like you. It is. I thought it might be. Where are we going to look? There looks a good place. Over there, look. Now, you have to be very careful when you're looking for bats, because you don't know what you're coming up against. Really? Oh, yes. There's all kinds of bats, you know. These big bats, little bats, fruit bats. You'll recognise one of them. Why? Do they look like bananas? Then there's vampire bats. <sighs> I hope we don't find them. Why? Oh, they suck your blood. Oh, dear. How do you know if you see one? They go for your throat. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the rubber one. Fooled you. <laughs> oh, well, I knew it wasn't real all the time. Oh, no, you didn't. I did. Anyway, you know what happened to the boy who cried wolf? Know what? He got beaten up by a gladiator. Can we get on now, please? Right, you look in that end, I'll look in this one. Trouble you is, you've got no sense of humour. Ah! Ah! Ha, ha! Oh, oh. Pathetic. Ah! How many times I tell you, if you don't do the same joke, the one. Ah! Ah! It's real! Ah! Do we have to ring that one as well? No, I think we'll send that one a letter. Odd. I didn't think they had vampire bats in this country. Perhaps it's on holiday. A sort of sabbatical. Hmm. Let's go and find that toolbox. Ah! 
Now take it easy when you go through the trap door. You can't be too careful. What happens if there's more of them? That's why we've got this protection. Now if you see a bat, net it. Right. It looks okay. Please. Paul? Paul? This must be one of those secret trap doors they were on about. Not the secret. What were you saying? I was saying, can we go home now, please? Of course we can. Great. Just as soon as we finish the job we came to do. Not so great. There's nothing to worry about. The vampire bat's being occupied by the vicar. All we've got to do is ring the good old English bats. Pipistrellis. Steady. That's a small English bat. I read it in a book. I knew that. Let's get cracking. There's nothing a bat likes better than a nice dark place. I'll just dip down the fishmongers then. The place, not place. Oh, hang on. I can hear one. Stick your hand in there and get it. Right. Get out of it. I'm not putting my hand in there. Chicken. It wouldn't be so bad if it was a chicken. You know where you are with chickens. Where? The poultry farm. I'm not putting my hand in there. I've got another idea. You tap on the wall, when it pops its head out, I'll grab it. That's better. <laughs> ah, not too loud. It's got a cute earring. I don't care what its jewellery looks like. Let's get on with it. <whistles> it's behind you. Do it again. Oh, it's up here. <laughs> Try again. Behind you again. One more time. Oh, it's here. This is no good. It's never going to work. Quick, after it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Why is this hanging upside down? Because if it was the other way up, it would be standing. We've got to get it off the clock. Yeah, but how are we going to do that? I know. We'll frighten it. All right. Yeah. It didn't work. Of course not. I'm talking about the bell. It's nearly two o'clock. When the bell strikes, it'll frighten it, it'll go back inside. So all we've got to do is wait. That's right. That's a relief. <laughs> Why didn't the bell ring? It hasn't rung for years. Something to do with the mechanism. Hey, come on, Barry. We can fix that. <laughs> ah. <coughs> that done it. <laughs> Odd. Perhaps it's this thing here. Da, 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 da. Don't you go touching it. You don't know what you're doing. There's obviously something wrong with the clapper. Ah, yes. It's a bird's nest. It's blocking the clapper thrust flam sprocket. I'll shift it. I told you not to touch anything. I didn't touch anything. I just went like this. And it went... I know how it went. I can still feel it. The thing is, as it shifted that bat, is it still up there? Do you know, that bat must be deaf as a post. There's only one thing for it. One of us is going to have to go up there and get it down. But will that be safe? Of course it will. Besides, I'm not going. He is. Me? Why me? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? You're lighter and most dispensable. Am I? I've never been dispensable before. We are now. Off you go. Hang on. I vote we try the bell again. All those in favour, say aye. Aye. The ayes have it, I'll go and ring the bell. I was going to say I think we need a piece of rope. What would you say to a nice cup of tea? I'd say that's very nice, Mr Norman. It's Darjeeling. Oh, I'd say that's very nice, Mr Darjeeling. <laughs> Excellent. I'll go and put the kettle on. I'll go and check how my associates do it. Associates, how do you do it? You need to get that bat shifted yet? 
I'm just winding it up. There's pointless doing that. I've told you, it's death. Let me know when you're nearer. OK. Oh, by the way, the vicar's put the kettle on. Rings. That should do it. Won't be long now, Vicar. Barry set it for five rings. That should frighten the little scallywag. <laughs> Excellent. And you managed to get the bell working again after all this time. Tell me, how did you manage to wind it up? Easy. I used the key. <laughs> but the key was missing. That's why it wasn't working. Strange. Well, if you didn't wind the bell up, what did you wind up? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Quick, Barry. <laughs> Here. Nothing happened. You weren't standing where I was. Try the other lever. Phew. That was close. You want to be more careful. Well, I didn't know. Well, at least it's probably moved the bat. Let's go and get that cup of tea. Stopped it. Hang on. Where have they gone? Paul! I was just saying, where have the hands gone? I think I've just found one. Oh dear. Get it out. Get it out! Tomato! 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 No harm done. I thought not. I'll say there's been harm done. You turn up here out of the blue telling me that you're going to ring bats. Then, thanks to you, I'm chased all over the churchyard by a winged bloodsucker. Then you completely destroy my clock mechanism and pin me to the ground with the hour hand. Why are you doing this to me? What have I done? Nothing. Would you have done the same for anybody? Yes, well, I wish you'd go and do it for someone else. You've missed a cup. I want that clock put in back exactly as you found it, or as near as possible. We've had it since 1600. Well, it's only five past four now. Years, not hours. Are you a complete numbskull? Not quite. Now I want that clock fixed. And I want it fixed now. Your tea's gone cold. <laughs> ah! <laughs> So how are we going to get the clock back together again? I've got it. Well, don't give it to me. No, I've got to make a phone call. In this life, it's not who you know, it's what you know. Unless you're me, of course. Who do you know? Mick the Tick. You know, he works for Jock the Clock. And Mick the Tick's TikTok Clock Shop? That's him. He owes us a favour. Is Mick the Tick's TikTok Clock Shop better than Dot the Clocks Around the Block? No. Mick the Tick's TikTok Clock Shop is just as good as Dot the Clocks Around the Block, but he's closed. Understand? I'm not sure. Can you say that again? No, I can't. Where's that phone? Are you going to ask him to fix it? Who was that? Jock the Clock. Doc the Tock? No, Jock. He's Doc Scotty's cousin. He works for Mick the Tick. Ah, around the block from Doc the Tock. That's the one. Ah, yes, he's been in my congregation. Never mind. We'll get it tidied up later when we finish here. I take it he's come to fix the Jock. <laughs> I mean the clock. No. We're doing it ourselves. He's just delivered some parts. Come on, let's have a look. Here we are. Everything we need. We'll soon have that clock working for you. You're doing it. But do you know anything about clocks? <laughs> do we know anything about clocks? Barry, tell him. Um, no. Da, 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 da. Of course we do. We come from a long line of clockmakers. Do we? Yes. Remember Uncle Helmut von Tuckel? No. He was Swiss. And you know what Swiss are famous for? Jam rolls. Jam rolls? No, clocks. He was a clockmaker. Was he? Yes. He invented the pocket watch. The pocket watch? Oh, yes. Very realistic. It was made out of cloth and even had a hole in it. That's all very well, but I want assurance that you know what you're doing. Rest in peace. I probably will. We'll soon have that clock working. We're precision workmen. Barry, get the mallet. Vicar, get the boxes. Paul? 
the bat. No, not heavy enough. We'll stick to the mallet. No, I don't mean that bat. I mean the bat bat. Don't be silly. They know nothing about clocks. You're a bit early. We haven't even started yet. That's what I've called to see you about. Look, are you absolutely sure you know what you're doing? Know what we're doing? Know what we're doing? Of course we do. I've told you before. Show him, Barry. Ah! He's gone. Huh? <laughs> there you are. Just goes to show you. A few kind words and the customer goes away happy. If you say so. I do. Have to the mallet. Right. Come on, it's you, it's you. Come here. Come here again. Another job well done. Hoi! Ah, going to the match, Vicar. See you. Have you fixed it? We have. It's as good as new. Even better. What do you mean, even better? He made one or two improvements. Improvements? What kind of improvements? You love this. It's nearly on the hour. You watch. It's an Uncle Helmet speciality. One good thing. What's that? If he gets his band, we'll have seen the last of those bats. 